Hey everybody, this is Spencer with Murphy Door. We are gonna be walking you through exactly how to order, kind of go through the different options that we offer, and hopefully it'll clarify things enough to where you can get the exact door that you want. And we'll start here on the, on the home page. We'll click on store, which is where we're already at. First is a single door, French doors, home solution doors are like storage specific doors, like pull cue door, a gun door, a wine rack door, as you can see here. Then underneath that, there's the DIY solutions where we sell just the hardware kit. We sell these really cool Murphy Door Quick Kits, which is pre-assembled, primed, ready to go. All you really have to do is assemble the jam and put on the hardware. Then you can paint in whatever color you want. And then the completely unassembled kits. After that, you have the add-on accessories and then the traditional bookcases. What these are is it's, it's a standard bookcase. It does not swing, but a lot of people will order one of these to fit right next to the a Murphy Door and it hides the Murphy door really well because you have one or two bookcases right next to each other and then, all of a sudden, and then all of a sudden one opens up. That's kind of the layout of the store for now. We'll go into single doors and the door we'll be ordering is actually gonna be probably our, one of our most popular doors. It'll be a bookcase door probably with, we'll see, we'll, we'll play with it. We'll Bob Ross this. So going into the most popular product, which is the bookcase door, you'll have this main image here with the thumbnails and here's all the options that we're gonna choose in order to create the exact door that we want. So with your, with your Murphy door, the first thing that you have to select is the wood core type. And that's literally what the door is made of. So you have two options. You have an MDF core and you have a plywood core. Our warranty is longer on the MDF core and we usually recommend the MDF core. It holds up better over time and it's more consistent, especially with like humidity and things like that. But a lot of people like the lightweight plywood. So either one, you can choose those. Then after that, you will choose the wood type. The wood type is actually the veneer that goes on top of the core. If you're going to paint the door a certain color, then we recommend either the paint grade or the moisture resistant paint grade. And what that is, it's, it's a very smooth, flat finish and it makes the door look beautiful. There's no blemishes, there's no grains or anything. And it's by far, by far most popular option is the MDF uh, paint grade. If you want an actual wood looking door and you're gonna stain the wood type, we recommend any of these. We have oak, knotty alder, maple veneer, cherry, hickory, and walnut. We'll go paint grade. Then it will ask you for your finish. If you click on one of the wood types, it'll ask you for the different stains that we offer. If you click on the paint grade, it'll give you the different colors we offer. If you have a special color that you're using in your house, just order the door unfinished and you'll be able to paint it whatever color you want. But for this, we'll order a white door. Next, we'll determine the size of our door. So first is gonna be the width and the height. We'll go measure that right now. So this is the doorway where we're gonna install the door. So we're gonna measure this quickly. So I'll show you how. This is the rough opening. So from inside the two x four to inside the two x four is the measurement that we're looking for. Right here, this is a 34 inch rough opening, which means we're gonna order a 32 inch door. And then for the height, that is an 82 inch opening, which means we will order the standard 80 inch tall door. So we will order a 32 by 80 inch Murphy door. Okay, we've got our door measured. We know that we have a 34 by 82 inch rough opening. So what we'll do first is we'll determine the width. We'll go down, we'll see where we can see the 34 rough opening, which is a 32. This is very standard for ordering doors. You always go two inches less than the rough opening. So our door will be a 32 inch door, and then it's already selected here for our height, the 82 inch rough opening on the height. This is standard, and chances are if you're ordering one of these doors right now, that's going to be the height of your door. Moving on, we'll determine the door depth. So there's a couple different options here. We have five and a quarter, we have six and a half, eight and a quarter, 10 inches, and 12 inches. The most common by far is gonna be eight and a quarter. That's just enough room to, to store your books and it's, again, it's the most popular size, so we'll, we'll keep it there. This is our most popular size, the eight and a quarter. It's our most popular size because it's just big enough to handle most everything with books, um, our pull cue doors, there's, all, there's different, the spice rack doors, they're all eight and a quarter inch, and it's usually the perfect size. So like I said, the, by far the most popular depth that we have. We do offer a deeper door if you need more space in that bookcase. This is a 12 inch. One thing you just gotta watch out for is the space that it takes up in your opening. But there are some doors that we provide that have to be 12 inches, like the hamper door, the shoe rack door. Those doors just simply need more space of storage for that door to actually function properly. 
And then finally, we do have a thinner door to where if you don't want it to protrude as far into the next room, this is a five and a quarter. And is most popular specifically with our mirror doors. For our door depth today, we're gonna to choose the eight and a quarter, which is the standard and the most popular size. These next couple sections, we're gonna determine the, the hinge placement as well as the swing direction. Just to show you the difference between the in-swing and the out-swing and the left and the right, these are both gonna be out-swing doors and this is the left hinge side placement. You can see the hinges on the left side, left hand out-swing. This is our wind door. And then a right hand out-swing. Again, just keep in mind when we say right hand, the right hand is where the positioning of the hardware is. For those of you who can't remember, L. And to go over the in-swing options with the hinge placement, here's a right hand in-swing. You push this into the next room. And here's a left hand in-swing. It goes into the next room. For this door in particular, we're gonna go with an out swing and we're going to place the hinges on the left side of the door. Next, we're gonna determine our jam depth. There's a couple different options here and we can customize to whatever you need, but by far the most popular is four and nine sixteen. To quickly show you the standard jam depth, we have an actual rough opening here. You can see a standard two by four, sheetrock and siding on, the, on both sides of the two by four. And when you slide that jam in, you can see that that width of jam, the four and nine sixteenths, will cover everything perfectly. It'll be flush on both ends. If that was a two by six, you'd want to order the six and nine sixteenths inch jam. But for this door, we'll go with the four and nine sixteenths. Next, we'll choose the cabinet door options. Here's the different styles that we offer. First is the slab and it's free. Um, that's basically just a flat board. Next is flat panel, shaker, raised panel, and glass. Then you can choose your hardware. For this door, we'll go with the stainless steel and then we'll be able to choose our finish. We're gonna go with black. This section here is for extra standard adjustable shelves. The door, as a standard, comes with three adjustable shelves and one fixed shelf, which is usually plenty for like a bookcase or a pantry door even. But if you do want more, you can order them right here. Then we'll choose what style of back we want. We wanted to show you the different backs really quickly since we do offer now more decorative backing to the doors. But just for reference, this is a standard. The back screws are still visible, but most of the time people are using these doors in places that you don't see the back of the door that often. So this is the most popular. But if you do wanna have more decorative back, here's a couple different options. One being the shiplap and two, the beadboard. I personally like the ship lap back, so I wanna add that to the order as well. Standard casing, we have two options. You can do a flat standard casing or a fluted casing. Front casing, we're gonna just go standard, flat. Rear casing, you don't have to do rear casing, depending on your room that you're hiding, um, but I like to have it finished on both sides, so we'll go with the standard. And then we can choose to have a crown entablature or a square entablature. If you don't choose one of these options, it's going to look just like the side trim and a flat, a flat board. But for this, we're gonna go with the square entablature. After that, we have two different locking systems. We have a mechanical key lock and we have electromagnetic lock, which wires into the power of your home. And when you put in a key code or you, you put in a fingerprint scanner even, it will put a break in that current and it will unlock the door. Just to show those options, we'll go into the electromagnetic lock, we'll choose that. It will come as a standard with two push buttons, but if you wanna have a key fob, a keypad, or a fingerprint scanner, you can order those as well. We'll go with, say, the keypad. With the electromagnetic lock, we do have the option of having, uh, having a battery backup, which we recommend. People always ask, if the power goes out, what happens to the door? The answer is it do the door doesn't lock. You'll be able to open it regardless. So it's not like you're gonna get trapped in your room. But if you want that door to stay locked, even when the power goes out, we recommend this battery backup. So we'll add that as well. If you are in a hurry for your door, we offer rush options. That's not always there, um, but if it is urgent, if you're a contractor and your, your customer needs one urgently, you can obviously add this rush option here. We're not in too big of a hurry, so we'll be all right. We'll add that to our cart. 
And right here, you'll be able to go through and see all the details of your door. We'll go to view my cart. And before you order, just make sure, just double check your sizing. Door depth, door swing, hinges, gem depth, go through all the options that we went through. We do offer a special protection plan, which covers up to manufacturer defects, all stains and spills. So even if it's something that happens on your end, it is covered under this warranty plan. Um, so if you wanna do that, you can add that as well. For now, we're good. Then you choose your sales rep if you talk to one. So if you do need any help or if any of this is confusing, we have awesome staff on hand to be able to answer any of your questions. Be sure to read through all the terms and conditions. and then check out. And then from here, we put in our shipping information, it will ask for our billing information, and we'll process the order. Then your door, your very specific door, will be picked out, um, it will be created. None of these doors are actually in stock, so everything is built to order, it's very customized just for you.